Hi, good morning, and um, I welcome you to this morning. It's only about 10 minutes after 8 o'clock, and usually at this time of the day, I am still in my workout clothes or sweatpants, and I'm getting the kids off the bus, and I'm sitting down figuring out what my day has going for it. But I am really fortunate today to be going to a training that's put on by the Search Institute. And the Search Institute's located down here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and they do research on the 40 developmental assets. Those 40 developmental assets are ones that help youth and bring youth into the community and really what does our youth need to survive and to thrive within our communities. So I'm really excited to go to this three-day training and I really want to tell people about this training because it is dealing with what they call the REACH process and REACH is an acronym for Relationships, Effort, aspiration, cognition, and heart. And so the REACH process is something that I'm excited about because we can use it within our school systems, but not just within our school systems, but with parents also. So I'm sitting here in my hotel room. I figured I'm all dressed up. I even have a little bit of makeup on, which is unusual. And I didn't want I wanted to tell people about this. The REACH process starts out with relationships, so how do you build relationships with youth and then um, having youth be building relationships with their community. It, e is for effort, so how can we help better have our youth or students put effort towards their academic aspirations and motivate them. Then the A is for aspirations. Aspiration is what they aspire to do, and lots of times kids have like big dreams, students have big dreams, I have big dreams, but I'm not sure how to reach those big dreams, how to reach those goals. And so that part is going to be all about reaching your goals. Cognition is about the brain science, so how can we better have strategies that can help our students and help youth use their brain and look at the brain science behind learning and then heart is all about what's here yeah those things that kids can get really excited about those things that you as an adult get really excited about how you can share those with kids how can you share that with the youth within your community and so I know it's kind of a little drizzly day here I'm gonna show you here is what it looks like out in the parking lot I'm in St. Paul well Roseville area. I'm going to be heading down to the to the training which will be on the St. Paul campus and I really am appreciative. I'm part of Team Epic which is a Roseville County drug-free communities coalition and it's because of them that I'm able to attend this training so I'm really thankful that I'm part of that coalition. We've been working on receiving a drug-free communities grant for the last three years and now we have it and we want to use these 40 developmental assets to really build up our youth in our community so that they know that there's relationships out there that what they aspire to be or to do is important and that there's adults around them that is willing to and want to not just willing, but really want to see them succeed and be part of our community. So, uh, thanks for listening for this. And if you want more information about the REACH process, I'm going to be talking more about it in the next three days. Uh, and also below, if you go to the link below here, the post below this one, I placed a link there about the REACH process and if you want to read more about it. So I'm super excited to get out there and find out more about it and share it with you and the parents that are on the Wildwood Learning Facebook page. So I hope you guys all have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.